30 million dollars for business system modernization. That means that we have gotten from the General Assembly just for this year, one, and continuing investment going forward, $30 million so that we can upgrade the software systems for all local school districts. So that their uh, HR system is the same as their payroll system, is the same as their licensure system. So that you know, when, they, when they tell the General Assembly, you know, this is how many teachers we have and this is what they're teaching, the General Assembly will look at that same information that they're looking at and, uh, and, and they'll all be able to be on the same wavelength. Uh, we got more funding for rural schools. Uh, you know, we got a uh, council created, a birth through th uh, third council uh, that will uh, have spots designated from the General Assembly, and it will also be a bipartisan effort between uh, Governor Cooper's cabinet and me uh, focusing on, we know pre-K is a good thing. How do we get more quality access for pre-K for more students across North Carolina. So we're going to be looking at that. That's just a, that's just a few of the highlights that we were able to accomplish through this session. Uh, well, you know, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have liked to have seen such big cuts to the department. Um, we, we, we got the initial Senate budget and we went back and said, uh, you know, why don't you give us, you know, the audit and let us use that to determine uh, where we need to move from here. And I'm, I'm still hopeful that the audit will, uh, will help us move forward in a, in a productive manner.